Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today I am going to discuss atropine. This is an alkaloid. So in this lecture I will discuss atropine, its structural elucidation, its synthesis and few of its application. First of all, the sources the sources of atropine alkaloids are the plants of Solanaceae family. Few plants are, few examples are given Atropa belladonna, Datura stramonium. So, Atropa is commonly known as deadly nightshade and other with Jimson wheat. Okay, from these and other plants, we can isolate atropine. Elemental analysis shows that its molecular formula is this and spectroscopic and other techniques shows that the structural formula of atropine is this and this is also the structural formula it shows that there is presence uh, a benzene ring is present hydroxide uh, astral linkage and nitrogen as so there are two rings one is benzene or aromatic ring other is salmon carbon ring with bridged nitrogen so First of all, let's see the physical properties of atropine. It is water insoluble, but it is soluble in organic solvents. It has bitter almond like order. It's uh, in pure form. It is poisonous. Melting point is this and its use is our application. It has wide applications in pharma industry. It is used in eye drops to dilate the pupil of eye. Uh, atropine sulfate injections uh, these lower the heart rate and during the surgery saliva and bronchial secretions are decreased by the use of atropine and it is also used to treat the mushroom poisoning so now structural elucidation as structure shows that nitrogen is present whether this nitrogen is primary secondary or tertiary so, we treat the atropine with HCl, we can also treat it with alkyl halide and by treating with HCl we get quaternary ammonium salt. It shows that the nitrogen present in this uh, uh, compound is tertiary in nature. So, a structure shows that there is hydroxyl. How, what are the evidences to prove this? So, when the atropine is treated with benzoyl chloride as there is only hydroxyl group in the structure, so monobenzoyl derivative is obtained. So, this H is removed and the Cl and the benzo benzoylation takes place. So, the structure shows that there is astral linkage is present. To check the whether there is astral linkage or not, we treat the atropine with barium hydroxide and heat it heat the mixture as we know that the astral uh, esters are hydrolyzed into their respective acids and alcohol so after hydrolysis we get an acid called as tropic acid and a base or alcohol called tropine base so we can also uh, find the structural evidences of the atropine from their uh, respective components obtained after the hydrolysis of uh, atropine. So, tropic acid, it gives sooty flame. It shows that aromatic ring is present in its structure. So, there is no phenolic group. So, it gives negative ferric chloride test. So, there is carboxyl group. So, it reacts with carbonates and bicarbonates as well as there is carboxyl group so it react with sodium hydroxide and monosodium salt is produced it shows that carboxylic group is present so tropic acid contain benzene ring as a core nucleus so we can check that we treat uh, a tropic acid and in first step dehydration takes place and followed by the oxidation we get benzoic acid it shows that benzene ring is present as after the hydrolysis we get the base which contain hydroxide so whether the hydroxide present as a primary alcohol or secondary so tropine base undergo oxidation and we get tropinone ketone we know that the secondary alcohols these oxidize to give ketones hence proved that secondary hydroxyl or secondary alcoholic 
hydroxyl group is present in uh, tropene base so all these elucidated data are evidences shows that the atropine show this structure so now how we synthesize atropine so i will discuss laboratory or industrial method as well as its biosynthesis so at industrial scale or in laboratory we prepare atropine by the condensation of tropine and tropic acid how tropine is prepared we uh, treat succinaldehyde with methylamine and acetone we get tropinone uh, ketone so this succinaldehyde contain four carbon and this one two three four carbon comes from succinaldehyde and one two three carbons comes from Uh, acetone and this NCH3 uh, it comes from methyl amine so tropinone undergo reduction and we get tropine base similarly phenyl acetic acid is treated with a kind of Grignard reagent called as propyl magnesium chloride to get this structure this structure is treated with formaldehyde to get this compound which undergo hydrolysis to give tropic acid. Tropic acid and tropine, these are condensed to form atropine. Water is removed. Okay. Biosynthesis, this is L-phenylalanine and amino acid. It undergo deamination followed by oxidation at alpha carbon and we get phenyl, um, phenyl uh, pyruvate. So, this undergo reduction and we get phenyl lactate. This is react with this react with acetyl coenzyme A and we get this structure and this structure get tropine base and litorine uh, compound is formed which after several steps change into hyosamine aldehyde which in the presence of dehydrogenase undergo dehydrogenation reduction oxidation takes place and we get the atropine. So, these are the methods to synthesize the atropine so this is all about atropine its structural elucidation its synthesis thank you very much